Hello again and welcome to another edition of Wine Word Italy Reviews. Today we're in the same geographical area as the last review I did. I mentioned this by name in passing, it got a, a free plug. Today we're going to look at Prosecco. If you're Italian, um, when you have a party, you have a celebration, uh, you don't go for the bottle of champagne, generally. Instead, you reach for a bottle of this. Prosecco. It's a very sparkly, very bubbly wine. And uh, it's enjoyed at parties, at New Year, uh, afternoon after work, if you finish early, maybe on a Friday, go and have a drink with friends. This is a good drink to have. Uh, this particular wine, uh, it's probably difficult to see the label simply because of the colouring. It's a beautiful bottle, but it's uh, dark green glass and uh, the label is clear with silver print. Difficult to see, I'll read it anyway. Um, the brand name is uh, Nani Rizzi and it's a particular Millesimato it's called. Now that's not a brand name. Millesimato refers to a kind of Prosecco. Normally, for second production, uh, it is uh, made from wines of several years, so your bottle does not carry a date of production. However, the Millesimato, as we can see here, this is a 2009, is produced with grapes from one year's harvest only. Now, that may be because it's a particularly good year and the producer wants to uh, make the most of this, it may be uh, just to give a different line, a different uh, selling brand within the range. Um, whatever the reason, uh, that's, that's what a millesimato is. Okay, here's the wine. It's uh, obviously it's sparkling. Let's uh, get the top off. And because if you were watching my earlier reviews, you will know my dog is afraid of corks, especially sparkling wines. So again, I've had to put him well out of listening range. Okay, now, this wine is not straight from the fridge. It was in the fridge chilling, but I've got it up to about 10 or 11 degrees. Now, that's the best temperature to serve it. And uh, let's get it open and see what happens there. There we are, a pressurised uh, bottle there. I've got two glasses. I'm not going to drink two glasses, it's just uh, it's symbolic really, it's a, it's a social drink. Um, I feel a rather sad loner drinking this on my own here, but as my wife's in the UK at the moment, I have little choice. Let's pop some in the glass and uh, see how it looks. Okay. There it is. Now as you can see, I hope you can anyway. Lots of small bubbles. It's a very lively looking drink. Very clear. And uh, the colour, well, it's a sort of very, very pale straw yellow, I suppose. Um, not, not dark at all. Now, obviously, as it's a sparkling wine, you don't really need to open the flavour up too much. It's carried out uh, on the bubbles. So, Let's not waste time, let's get the nose in there and see what this is about. Ooh. Um, some variety of honey in there. Not eucalyptus honey or orange, no. Maybe acacia honey. Hmm. Or maybe a slight smack of... of lemon, possibly. With at the back of all that, it's, it's quite fruity smell at the back there. Could be any of those, but uh, certainly is a sort of acacia honey kind of ring to it. Very pleasant indeed. So, chin chin, let's give it a taste and uh, see what comes out with the tasting. My goodness, the moment that's in there, the bubbles explode right on your tongue, and it's the ripe fruit comes to the front. The honey is there on the aftertaste. It's like I've just had a, I don't know, a slice of really good white bread and honey. The taste is there. But it's not sweet. The, the, the effect is dry, which is generally the point of the Prosecco. Secco means 
dry in Italian. Hmm. Okay. So, it's fizzy. How do we make it fizzy? Well, Coca-Cola, oops, shouldn't publicise that, but never mind. Fizzy drinks, soft drinks, have carbon dioxide pumped into them. This is produced uh, in a far more acceptable way, a different uh, production method. Okay, it's called the Charmat method, uh, or Martinotti. Uh, what happens here is uh, the wine has a secondary fermentation in bulk tanks, and then it's bottled under pressure. Uh, so when you open it, out comes the gas. The advantage is the bubbles are small and don't dissipate quickly. I mean, that's been open quite a while now. And that's still fizzing very healthily there, bringing out that delicious smell. Okay, possibly a slight change from my usual approach here. I of often offer the food uh, that you should have with this. Now, I've said it's generally used as a celebratory wine or uh, maybe as an aperitivo. So you're not always going to eat food with it, but it's still flexible. You know, if you're in a bar early evening, you're going to get your peanuts. There we are, quite salty. Okay. Simple as that. Nothing clever. Hmm. That honey is really enjoyable. Almost a shame to drink it. Just smell the evaporation of the, the honey. Anyway, there he goes. Contrasts quite nicely with the salty crisps or the salty peanuts. Try crisp. They've got some flavour on. I don't it's sharp. That's probably paprika or something. And again, I do love that smell. Yeah, it goes very nicely. But it goes equally well after a meal as well, so if you've had maybe a dessert, then you can sort of finish the evening off with a glass or two of this. So for that reason I've got something sweet here, just a light sweet pastry, kind of biscuit thing. Possibly after this we'll notice the sharpness, the dryness of the wine a little bit more. Hmm. There's a big contrast there. Now, you know, the sweet was the biscuit, the wine is drier. Okay, well let's just talk a little bit about the producer. Okay, his website is www.nannyritzi.com. Um, it's now run by Denis Spaniol, who is the grandson of the person whose name is the trademark on here. And uh, the business is very new. There's a, a beautiful new buildings, new grounds. Not new producers. They've been in, they've been doing it for over a hundred years. Um, but the site has been completely reworked, and is very smart indeed. Um, it's all about enthusiasm, about passion. That's a word they use in their advertising, and it's certainly a word that uh, characterises how they run their business. They've got a wide range of wines. Um, DOCs, DOCGs, uh, different varieties of Prosecco, and uh, well, if you want to go and see them or visit their website, there it is again, www.nannyritzi.com. Um, that's all for today, really. Uh, all I can say is enjoy this kind of wine. There are plenty to choose from, some dry, some very dry. Um, this one, not towards the dry end, it's verging towards the middle of the road. But certainly it's light, delicious, that honey still coming through there, and uh, I would recommend this to, to anyone. Okay, I'll see you next time on Wine Word Reviews, and uh, have a good one. Chin chin!